Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, hello. We haven't done a 15 minute bowl in a long while. So I know there's a lot of new subscribers who want to sort of ease their way in uh, to the pool, you know, hold the rails, get into the baby side of the pool and start. So uh, today, let's do this one. It's very simple. If you have mushrooms in the refrigerator, pull them out and uh, I'll take you on the school bus. All right, let's go. We're gonna work with button mushrooms. Yay! Finally, something that I can find in any grocery mart. Woohoo! I think I did a good job of picking these out. These look exceptionally beautiful. We're gonna need 10 of these. Till this day, every time I see button mushrooms, it reminds me of Toad from yeah! Mario Kart Racing. <laughs> so rinse them thoroughly, get rid of any dirt, and then we'll just cut them in half. All right, that's it for the mushrooms. Then we have a forearm length of spring onion. Cut them into the size of your pointer finger, something like that. And at the wide portion, we're gonna cut this just in half. All right, very nice. And that's it for prep. What was that? Maybe 30 or 40 or 42.3 seconds. Get a large frying pan out. We're gonna put this on medium heat. Three tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of minced garlic, and two. Mix the garlic in, and once it starts to sizzle like that, then we'll put in all of our mushrooms. All right, then just move this around so the garlic can grace that mushroom. And then once you see there's not that much oil left, one and a half cups of water. Woo! And then let's raise it to a medium high heat. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. That's one tablespoon. Second tablespoon in. One teaspoon of sugar. And the key in most rice bowls is that oyster sauce. A lot of umami and it packs uh, depth. Let's do one tablespoon in. Looks good to me. And then some black pepper. Just a few shakes. And once it comes to boil, guys, put it back down to a medium heat. And then we're gonna just let it simmer for a few minutes. In the meanwhile, we need to make a thickener. Then use two tablespoons of cornstarch. All right, second tablespoon. This is what really thickens up most stir fries. Uh, used a lot in Chinese cooking. And then equal parts water. That's one and two. Good, all right, mix it up. Now let's put in our spring onion. And then with the starch water, don't put it all at once. Just put in maybe about half and see if you need more. And you'll immediately start to see it thicken up. I think I'm gonna put the rest in. And now you'll see that it turns a lot more goopy, which is exactly what we want. Turn it off. I'm gonna actually throw in a little bit more spring onions, just so that I can brighten it up. Finish off with one tablespoon of sesame oil. Put that in. And guys, take a look at those mushrooms. Woo! At this point, take a sip of the broth. It's slightly bland. So I'm gonna season to taste with a few shakes of salt. Mm -hmm. Get some fresh rice, and just like curry, we'll get a few scoops. Just a dash of sesame seeds, top it off. There it is, you see? If you look at the sauce, a lot of the minced garlic is like stuck in there, like the Jurassic Park ember. You know, it's just holding value like that. <laughs> but today, guys, I'm feeling rather ravenous. I'm gonna grill up some of this shabu shabu meat in a separate frying pan. A few slices of thinly cut meat. Oh my gosh, my mouth is already watering. <laughs> Alright, let's go in for that big scoop. Oh gosh, not enough room on the spoon. Maybe I put it on top. Oh yeah, oh yes. And then go in for that big bite. No! Mm. There's a lot of mushrooms. Is there a side effect to be too many mushrooms? Just a random thought, but when I was young, my mom would always give me a glass of milk before I went to school. Cause she's like, I'm short, you need to grow, so you gotta drink a lot of milk. Of course, we figured out later that I was lactose intolerant. But I was just thinking now, what if mushrooms had that? That thing to make you, I would easily be six foot four. Man, I'd be like six foot nine. 